Hello, my name is Heinrich and today I'm going to give you hints and tips on how to solve trig identities. My first tip would be to t look at the identity, see which side is more complicated and start on that side and try to simplify it to show that it is equal to the simpler side. After that, I've got a little nursery rhyme for you that'll help you make sure that you try to use all the tools that you have available to you in order to simplify this trig identity. So the first one there, or actually the whole thing, is royal carriages carry queens in doubles. So I'll repeat that, royal carriages carry queens in doubles. Now what on earth does that mean? So royal stands for our reduction formulae, right? So if you have something, uh, angle 180 plus theta, 180 minus theta, or 360 minus theta, you can always turn that into an angle that is in quadrant one and that is simpler to work with. The second tool that's available to you is to use your co-functions. So if you have something like 90 minus theta, you can turn sine into cos or cos into sine and perhaps that'll be helpful to you. The third thing you can look for is your compound angle formulae. So if you have a double angle within a function, you can separate that into something like two sine theta cos theta uh, by using your compound angle formulae. Right, so thus far you've got three things to check for. Can I use reduction formulae? Can I turn sine into cos or cos into sine? Or can I use compound angle formulae? Then we move on to queens. So queens stands for quadratics. So very often these sine functions or cos functions try to disguise themselves as a quadratic. So a quadratic is something in the form x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals something, zero. Right, so often the x is replaced by a trig function like sine or cos and that will be in the form of sine squared theta plus sine theta plus one is equal to zero. So that's exactly the same as a quadratic function, but instead of having x be the thing that's being squared, we now have sine which is being squared. So if it's easier for you to see that you have a quadratic, you can substitute in x for sine theta or cos theta to find something in the form x squared minus two x plus one that's easier for you to work with. Then you have identities. So your grade 11 identities are your best friends. Sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals one always comes to mind when you see a sine squared or a cos squared and whenever you see a tan theta it's almost certain that you'll get benefit from turning that into sine theta over cos theta. And then doubles stands for our double angle formulae. So when you have an angle plus another angle within a trig function, it makes sense to try and use your double angle formulae in order to expand it first and hopefully then simplify it further so you can show that what you had is equal to what you want to show that it is equal to. Right, so the nursery rhyme is royal carriages carry queens in doubles. The tools are reduction formulae, your co-functions, your compound angle formulae, you can look for quadratics, there's identities, or there's double angle formulae. Now those six things are the tools that you can use to simplify trig expressions. But sometimes trig identities are just that little bit too complicated or there's a bit of problem solving involved and you can get stuck on it for half an hour, 45 minutes, if you just let yourself go a little bit. But in an exam situation, we don't have time to let ourselves go a little bit in order to solve those problems. So my last tip for you is, if you get stuck on a trig identity, move on.